Praise the Lord. Please be seated. The Archbishop, Bishop Margaret Adahosa, we all call her Mama, right? We call her Mama, and it's not because she looks like a Mama, but because she is. Bishop and Reverend Feb and Lori Dahosa, the Vice Chancellor, Registrar, Governing Council, the Bishops of the Ministry, students of the Benzini Dahosa University. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for the honor that you've done me in the several recognitions, so many good things you've said. I thank you for the opportunity to be a part of what you're doing. I have so much to say to you, some of which you will be hearing long after today's event. But I am very grateful um, I didn't think I was doing something other than expressing my appreciation. That's what I was doing. When I gave in to the university, I was taking the opportunity afforded me to say thank you. I'm one grateful person, just one among so many. I'm just a grateful person. Grateful for many things. Firstly, for what and who the Archbishop Benson Dahosa was to me. I heard Bishop Feb, we call him Feb, but I hope now you, you just heard the, the meaning of Feb. But um, when he was talking about the legacy, well, my thought was, when I was coming here, I thought about the legacy of the Archbishop. And I've always had in my mind, I'm his legacy. You are his legacy. This is our campus. Do you get it? It's our campus. It's the campus of the legacy of the Archbishop Benzini Dahosa. We are his fruit. You get it? I count myself highly honored to have been given the opportunity to be here celebrating. Now, today is 10th of March. It'll be in two days from now, 12th of March, the anniversary 
of the what did he say 22 years yes since he transited from here you say what did he go for i'll tell you on that day when it happened reverend tom was in benin and called me on the phone he said pastor there's something on the on the screen i don't know what they're talking about i said what is it he said they're announcing that the archbishop has passed on he said i don't understand what they're saying but i understood i understood because he had told me invite me he said to me before the 14th of March this was December he was speaking with me in December and he called his secretary and said to her where's your card she came out with a card he wrote something on it he said again to me remember before the 14th of March I said yes sir then I thought does he know why he sent for me because he sent for me I can give you all that story but I was thinking does he know why he sent for me he said follow me so I followed him he took me around and he kept saying just for inspiration just for inspiration and I followed him and we went around and came back I sat down and he talked about what he was doing about the university he had a picture a large picture in his hand and when he was done talking about the university and a few other things he said let me pray for you kneel down so I went on my knees and I knew that was the reason he sent for me because years before the Lord had told me what he was going to do. That on a particular occasion, he would call for me and he would do this. I didn't know when. But while I was there, he said, kneel down, let me pray for you. And he laid hands on me and spoke words of the Spirit. Now, it may interest you to know, two years before then, I was at a state in my life, a young preacher, just going into the ministry, thinking what I was going to do, Father, because I just didn't really have in the ministers who will take personal interest it's one of the things that young ministers face when you don't have anybody who takes interest in you to want to mentor you but I had to learn from the Archbishop now I'll come to that in a second but I was at this point in my life I was thinking what do I do so i began to write down the names of the ministers i thought i might need to contact so i had three names the first one was the archbishop benson and 
And I wrote the other two. While I was thinking, how can I contact them? A voice spoke about three feet above my head and said, don't contact them. I'll contact them for you. I'll get them to contact you. It was a short while after that, I got a message. The Archbishop wanted to see me. This was contact number one. And I wanted to be very sure he wanted to see me. I sent Reverend Tom. I said, go and see the Archbishop. I got a message he wants to see me. Is it true? And Reverend Tom went. And the Archbishop said, certainly. So that's how I went to see him. Prior to that time, when I was a young teenager, I worked at the office known as the National Office Church of God Mission. And I used to see Feb, Frida, and the other ones, the other two girls, when with the white Toyota crown, they'll go pick them from school. Yeah, I was there, just a young boy. And like Mama just said, every day, every day in that office, I would be at the lounge looking at the pictures, large pictures of miracles, wonders and signs. I would stare and stare and stare. Because I could see in my Bible the miracles. But you see, I only used imagination. Now the Archbishop had the pictures. I could see the pictures. His crusades, the videos from his crusades were amazing. Amazing. But beyond all of that is what the Archbishop meant to me because I, I'm a good learner. That's important. I know how to learn. And I want to tell you, I, I, I wrote down a few thoughts here just so I can help you understand where I'm coming from. You know, my, my dad has passed on to heaven now. An amazing gentleman. He preached the gospel too. My mother is amazing. And uh, they brought us up very well. But Thank you for watching Love Word. We're doing lots of beautiful things around the world today and I just want you to be a partner with us. Pastor Benny and I are doing a lot to bring you these beautiful programs and we are so sure that you are getting blessed. We want you to send this message to others. Send this gospel around the world. Like David said in his prayer to God, he says, send us around the world with the saving message. Send us around the world with this gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the only power of salvation. So join us today as a partner. Maybe you want to be a monthly partner or maybe you want to do it annually, quarterly, weekly, however it's convenient for you. Be a partner with us. We've got lots of partners around the world, but it's never enough until you are among them. You've got to be one with us. 
because we are raising a strong partnership for the gospel around the world in every nation. It's very important because it signifies the seriousness of our gospel and that each one of us takes the gospel as important, a priority to us. We must win the lusts for the Lord Jesus Christ. He gave his blood for it. He gave himself. There's nothing too good for the Lord. There's nothing too much for him. So join us today and be a partner with us. God bless you. To make donations or partner with Love World USA, please call us on 1-855-378-9993 or visit our website, loveworldusa.org. You can also send your donations to P.O. Box 399, Lake Forest, California, 92609. For mobile giving in the United States, please text Love US to 444-999. And you can make your giving easier by using the King's Pay app. Log on to kingschat.online. The recipient code is LWUSA. Thanks for partnering with Love World USA. God bless you. God bless you, everybody. This is Martin P.K., a.k.a. Mr. Superman, a.k.a. Mr. Holy Spirit, a.k.a. Man on a Mission, and you're watching Your Love World, the powerful network that is on air right now. If you want to receive your miracle, get there. If you want to receive a word of God, an in-season word of God, this is the place to be. And, of course, powerful worship. God bless you, and stay tuned. He didn't say that for nothing. He called it our supreme task that's to let you understand the premium that he put in so many that lit up my life for so many then think about this miracles signs and wonders he taught us about miracles and to do miracles, signs and wonders. He taught us one of the best things you could ever be taught. True love of the Master. How to love Jesus. The Archbishop was passionate about Jesus. And I prayed to God those years, Lord Jesus, Help me to love you. And the government. And this is an amazing combination. I don't know if you, just, if you heard what I said. To support the poor and the government. It's not something most people think come together. How can you support the poor and the government? The archbishop thought the government was poor. And he told us to support the poor and the government. That's why he did things that even the government should have done. Think about that. Look what you've done with that road. Reverend Tom, I said, look at the road. Look at the road. I said, it's so beautiful. And the lights, look at the stands with the lights. Now I hear Bishop Upewo did it. I've been hearing of you for years. Finally, I've seen you. You couldn't have been in Church of God Mission without hearing that name. Thank you. Because you, and I learned of several ministers going to see you. If they wanted something done, they went to you. And the truth was, you Yeah. And he taught us to raise others to do the same thing. Bishop taught us to give out forget that to the last time I was here. Something that changed my life. I was criticized. 
but there was someone in the congregation who would never forget it and it would change i was in sunday morning time for the offering the archbishop held 20 naira notes i would never seen that I'd never seen that. He held it up like this. From it one. Three, four, five. I started crying. Tears. I said, oh, Lord Jesus. Help me to give like that. I was crying. Help me to give like that. Others were criticizing the next day. The Archbishop is showing. Didn't Jesus say the right hand shouldn't see what left hand gave? But the Bible also said. You don't know. He has to show you how. The Archbishop a special gift to the oral special to let you understand from Africa to give to all from Africa that's what he was ladies and gentlemen I want of his ministry the were taken through He did. Praise God. So it's my joy to be a part of this. And it is my hope that everyone would find this opportunity that's been extended to us. This legacy that we have here. Think about it. What each one of us could really do. What our contribution would be. There's some young guy. Some young girl thinking now. In another five years. What you're going to do in this place. I can imagine that. I can imagine that because of us. The lecturers in this place will always be proud. That they came here to do the work. If in other places they got a problem. And the lecturers are not paid. That's not going to be happening here. The workers here will be paid. That's going to, do you understand what I'm saying? Because they have us. They have us. So people will work here proudly. Proudly, happily. Everyone who works in this place will be excited to work here. And by God's special grace, which he has granted us, this university will go from glory to glory. Yeah. Archbishop Margaret Dahosa, who we all call Mama, for the reason that she is our Mama, I want to thank you specially for your love. You know, children are born but not every child comes home i know that there are families who are unable to reach their children who have left home for years they're praying to even hear from them it was your love that pulled me here I want to thank you. You know, I, I've spoken with you on the phone on different occasions. 
And uh, when you're talking to me on the phone, I'm on my knees. Just to let you know. So the next time you're talking to me, I want you to know. So you can imagine it. So you know that every word that you're speaking, I'm on my knees pulling words out of your mouth. Because you always bless me. You always bless me. So I take it and I, it's you on the phone and I'm straight on my knees. I don't do that for nobody. I don't do it just because someone is talking to me or someone is praying for me. No. If you're praying with me and you want us to be on my knees, oh sure, I'll do it. I'll do it. But there's only one person in the whole world, and I'm serious, who's talking to me on the phone and not because we are praying together, no, but she's talking to me on the phone and I'm on my knees. And that's you. Because, you know, I can imagine Papa talking to me on the phone and I'm standing there and replying him. But that love that I felt from him is what you transmitted to me. And I want to thank you. Today, you did something. And I said, I don't think you realize what this means to me. He laid his hands on me, I told you. And I will not tell you what words he spoke. But he laid his hands on me because God asked him to do it. He had to do it. And today, I went in to see Mama before coming in to this place. She said, I have a gift for you. And I didn't care what it was going to be. Really. I didn't care what it was going to be. Anything from mama was going to be a blessing to me. I didn't care. It, it didn't matter what was going to be in the box. And they brought out this red box. It didn't matter to me what was going to be inside. It didn't matter. I'm telling you, it didn't matter. Whatever you would have put in there would have meant so much to me. But then she gave me something. She said, in this box is the personal Bible of the Archbishop. The Bible with which he preached in over 150 nations around the world. With notes inside. She said, I'm giving it to you. You didn't do it by yourself. God made you do it. God made you do it. I know God made you do it. You know, I don't go anywhere by chance. Before coming to this place, I knew it was part of destiny. And I've been praying and talking to the Lord about my being here today. And knowing it was his plan, I got on my way to be here. And I received that gift. I know it stands for more than just the Bible, the collection of God's word. It's the spirit of it. And the prophetic act from you. And what this means to me. I want to thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you. Thank you for what you're teaching us. 
were learning so quickly and so much from you. My mom tells me of you showing care and love towards her. It was her birthday only a few days ago. And Bishop Fab and, and, and Larry, they were both there. How do you create time for every one of us? Thank you. I'm very grateful. And I always will be grateful. I just want you to know, Mama, I want you to know something that this is one grateful son. I'm very grateful. Thank you. And by God's special grace, this campus, I've said, will move on from this level to the next level. And we all are going to be a part of it. The Vice Chancellor already itemized several things that he's planning to do. And I can imagine several other things he couldn't even talk about. But visions are already burning within us. Visions are burning within us. Think what you can do. Think what you will do. This is one university that we all need. We have to have it. And I'm grateful to God. It's God's vision. That's the most important thing. And if you're a minister out there, I want you to think. Look at this picture. That's a picture of the Archbishop Benson Idahosa. There's hardly a ministry that was not touched by his ministry, directly or indirectly. You either were touched or someone who was touched by him, changed by him, reached you. Don't forget, you would need to give too. Be a part of this. Bishop Feb said, it's built by community. Yeah. We are all part of that community. And everything that you can do in this university, do it. Put your heart in it and dream of it. Can I ask one question? Just one question. Bishop Feb, what does it take to run, just so you hear, what does it take to just run the university in a month? Just one month. What does it take? Have an idea? Who's the? Oh, that's the buzzer. R roughly what? Okay. He says roughly 300 million. Roughly. That's what he said. Roughly. That's interesting. Just roughly. <laughs> Would you like to be a part of that? Who would like to be a part of that? Would you like to be a part of that? That's, in one sense, we can say it's big, right? But in another sense, it's not too big. Why? Because of what it does. Because of what it does. How many would like to be a part of it? Who would like to do something about it? Would you like to do something about it? What's on your mind? You'd like to give. What would you like to give? There's nothing small. What would you like to give? As you are led. It's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. What, what, what? Who, who would like to do something about it? You'd like to do something? What would you like to do? You would like to build a 12-story administrative block. 
When would you like to start? You like to start right away. Come close. Do you know him? You know him? Okay. Stand up for a second. Vice Chancellor, do you know him? You don't know him. Do you know him? What do you think about what he just said? Talk to me. You know him. Do you think he's serious? Listen, anything is possible. The first thing is for us to dream. All right? And that is what you have said here. You would like to do it. He has not promised you. He said he would like to do it. I pray that God will give you the ability to do what is in your heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Who else would like to do something? I want to, uh, who would like to do something about it? What would you like to do? Again? You would like to give two million naira. Thank you very much. Thank you. You'd be amazed how far that will go. I just want five more people. Because everybody here would like to do something. But I'm getting somewhere. Five more people. Is there faith in this room? Is faith at work in this room? I'm coming to you. You want to do something? Both of you, just a second. <laughs> yes. What did you say? Praise God. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's five million now. Yes. Mama says five. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah? 1.5. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anybody else? 10. 10 million. Thank you very much. Thank you. You would match his 10 million naira. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anybody else? Yes. Five million. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Lady, yeah, please. Okay. Okay, but what do you want to do? You want to give up your salary for a month. Thank you very much. That's amazing. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, listen. I wouldn't take all that time to wait for everybody, but it's just to let you understand. Each one of us can begin. You see it? Each one of us can begin. Already you've seen how huge that is. Meaning that every month, Vice Chancellor has to make sure money comes. And there's no amount of fees that you would pay if you're going to be allowed to study here that will match what they need. It's not from the fees. It's people like us who give in to universities and make them run. There are lots of things they try to do. They work. They do a lot. But we must help. And make a difference between this university and other universities. Amen. All right. I wanted your faith today. I really wanted your faith at a certain point. I need your faith. 
Are you hearing me? I need your faith to come up to a certain level so that we can, we can, we can do big things for God. I'm thinking, what's the next thing we should do? To do big things for God. Big things for God. I'm waiting. Praise God. Are you sure you're ready? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for something. When it comes to this place is a place of faith. This campus is a place of faith. We learned faith from the Archbishop Benson Idahosa. We learned faith from him. And Mama has continued with that faith to take us from glory to glory in this you know maybe you I hope you realize that so many of us around the world look at you you mean so much to us all over the world they may not call you on the phone they may not but it's what we are to you. That's what we are. So we are, we are uh, instruments that God has given to you. Hallelujah. I hope that the next time I'm here, because I'm sure I'm, I've, I've been up here now for about an hour. I hope that the next time I'm here, there's going to be such faith stared. I want you to, I want you, you have not stared something. Um, I, I, I wanted you to stare something. You, you haven't done it. You haven't done it. There's a staring of the spirit that's important. And under that unction, so much we can do. Because when the gentleman came up and said what he was going to do you didn't receive it you didn't receive it because it's not about him it's about the it's about the spirit you get it it's about the spirit and once we're stared from inside our faith goes up and our needs become so small and suddenly we want to do anything and the capacity to perform is equally ministered to us with that faith that's how it works all God is waiting for is for our availability like I will I will and God says great if you will then I'll make it happen for you Praise God. Okay. Lift your hands and thank Him. Thank Him for the opportunity He's given us in this university. Thank Him for the love that is poured out in this place. And it's from here to the nations of the world. Thank him for the amazing grace that we all enjoy. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for the gifts that you've given us in the Archbishop Margaret Dahosa. Thank you for the gift. In the family that you've given us, Bishop Feb, Reverend Laurie, and the rest of the family that you've so blessed, and the leadership you've given to them, 
to raise so many for you. Thank you for the amazing helpers in this place, the vice chancellor and all those who work with him, and all the officials in this place, the lecturers, the workers. Thank you, Lord. They are an amazing gift to the body of Christ. They serve here for your glory. Lord, I pray, let your blessings continue in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your glory be manifested in them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for your blessing. And for every child in this place, every student in this place. You brought them here by yourself. Because you want to use them for your glory. I pray for them. Keep burning ideas in their minds. Open their minds to knowledge like never before. Knowledge that will transform their world and their generation. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you for the work in this place. Thank you. Thank you for the manifestation of your glory. The manifestation of your dream. Thank you. But we are blessed. We are blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Vice Chancellor, thank you very much. Your dream for the university will come to pass. Thank you. Thank you. Mama, thank you very much. Bishop Feb, Laurie, thank you. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Thank you very much, sir, for those wonderful words. Thank you. Sometimes we're very used to preachers, you know, shouting to keep the audience, but I don't know how people talk so gently and so, and it's able to captivate the audience. Thank you very much, sir. Very shortly, we'll be going for the commissioning of the Faculty of Engineering. Just before we do that, um, Mama, the bishops are here on your invitation. And we want to recognize them very sh briefly. First, we have the Director of Administration of Church of God Mission International, Bishop Sami Mokwede. You're welcome, sir. We also have the Assistant Director, Administration, Budget and Planning, Bishop Matthew 